range. No, I haven't. You've never read Lord of the Rings? You really should read Lord of the Rings. I yeah. prefer I, I prefer the Silmarillion. It's actually it's a collection of Middle Earth that Tolkien collected while he was doing Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Special? Special? Yes. Oh. Oh, oh yes. yes. We would like two oh, Vienna oh, Spirits. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh my god. Oh, this this father-daughter thing. It's cute. Reminds me of my dad. He's dead. Alright, have a very average meal. I don't think you understand. We're not we're not related. So the thing about uh, World War One is that it was just absolutely oh. bloodthirsty. Yeah. I just, just couldn't it, it you couldn't right. get enough of it. There was you know, on your first day of the show, there were twenty six thousand yeah. English soldiers that were killed in thirty minutes. Wow, that's fascinating. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. oh. For, okay. 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 All right. Yeah. for joining us here for this lovely exclusive interview for the directors of Plan B. Thank you. That's Thanks us. for having us. So what would you say your biggest inspiration was in making Plan B? Mm. This actually goes way back. Yeah, like, yeah, way, way back. From um, when we first moved to LA together. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We'd go on a date and it was really, really bad. You know, we would still have sex with them. Yeah. So that was our Plan B. Plan A was a uh, actual healthy, fulfillful, fulfilling <laughs> relationship. <laughs> But that doesn't happen. Yeah, that ever. never happens. Especially so, in like LA mm -hmm. or like anywhere in California or America. I feel like There's, many women can relate to that. Yeah, story. there is no That's way you will actually sure. find someone who's nice to you. But um, so the plan B <laughs> is to just you know like say whatever like, what's my body anyway? Yeah. Is like let's have just like them have and sex. then you can always get plan B. I think the intention was very clear. Very. Have you ever taken plan B? Yeah. I don't think I'm at liberty to disclose that information. Oh at this come moment. on, we're just uh, girlfriends. We've all done it. We've all done it, like at least twice a week. We're both infertile. It's true. So, what was your experience in making this uh, production? Um, wow. I think it was great. Yeah, honestly. nothing short of amazing. We're both the directors. Do you want to just? Uh, can you say the line? I think we're on set. Quiet on set. How was it like working with Jenna and Chardon? I thought it would be better. She said she was We're looking at the shot list. list. I need yeah. you guys to be like, like quiet yeah, upset. Okay, okay. We're gonna be going for a take. Like at least for Jenna, are you even gonna try to do anything? Hey! Hey! And where is your co-star? Um, we can't find him. Let's go! We literally can't find him. I almost wish that I, I I had shot myself all those years ago. So did you have any specific experiences with uh, any challenges you faced? Um, location. Um, yeah, that was story. that was shot at my grandma's apartment. Very hands-on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She's, and she's on hospice, but we agreed before we shot anything that I would cover all of her funeral costs come her very soon death. I, I'm so sorry for your future no, loss. She's an old hag. Well, it was really nice um, meeting you, and thank you so much for having oh, us. Yes. You were uh, thanks. beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so thank much you. for watching this lovely interview Woo! with these equally with lovely and talented directors. We we're very Jenna much Jordan. appreciate your yeah. time. We're Jenna and Jordan. Just Jenna let them, Jordan. just make sure they know that like that's our names. That's Jenna. <sighs> And I'm Chardin, mm -hmm. and we made this film called Plan B. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.